Why is the morgue in such a weird place? You know, the autopsy area or whatever. God damn it, it's me. Freaky. Same clothes too. Wow. I didn't realize. You gotta be okay. You don't have to stay. I want to stay. I'll be fine. It's just... A little strange. The glamour is so effective, it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. Check her mouth. There might be a ribbon in there, like before. Impossible. Anything? Nothing. Can you close her mouth? Thanks. Hold on, let's... Looks just like Faith's did. Yeah, clean cut. But there was nothing in her mouth this time. Do you think it was done by the same person? Definitely. Hard to tell. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. She got your perfume right. How would she know? How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this nose. Yep. Also, I saw well, the bottle we'll on your desk. <laughs> Do you see that? Could be a bruise. She was strangled before. Perhaps. Track marks. She used Monday drugs? It looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms, or if they're trying to hide the marks. Anyway, it means it's not a perfect match to your leg, unless... Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> maybe she was trying to compensate with that perfume. Wait, if the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It's possible it's designed not to. Designed not to hide track marks? Good point. The witches upstairs know what they're doing. That's why they cost so much. Right. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... What? Mind if Snow, open. do you mind if I, uh... Open her coat. Bigby, just let me do it. Well, she's got a nice G-string. It's, it's nice. not you, Snow. It's just a body. Well, I certainly hope you're behaving yourself up here. I'll be now okay. that you're done punching people. Stop it. What have you found out? The glamour is defective. Defective? We are thinking it's black market. We should really be regulating this kind of thing. Yes. We should keep going. 
What was it? The yes. Lingerie. Check the pockets. It's her perfume. What is that? She had the perfume with her. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. Another pocket. And a bundle of cash. I've seen things like this before. Oh, potions? It's definitely magic. Or a totem? The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. Mm -hmm. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Don't you think? You may be right. One way to find out. Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? Might want to stand Might back. Might want to stand back if you're worried, Crane. I'm gonna try to open it. Something to do with these rings here. A deer. A deer? What does that mean? Oh. Someone's hair. Is that Snow's hair and picture? That's Snow's hair and picture. Someone did blue on her. That... It's your hair. It's her hair. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think. This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Who did this, Bigby? Ooh. She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, shit. Yeah, she's a troll. Can we move on? Who is she? That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. Maybe Holly knows. Maybe Holly knows. The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... Oh, no. What is it? It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She was reported missing, but... It... Guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows? She might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. You are suspicious, bro. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. You'd be putting her life at risk. Bigby is not in charge of me. He's in charge of this investigation. That's not the same thing. If Snow wants to come with me, I'm not gonna stop her. But I will save her. Now. I will ready? save her. Yeah. I'll keep I'll protect her. I'll keep her protected at all times. That's my woman. I will protect my woman, okay? Don't mess with me. I'll protect my woman. Oh, this whole thing is complete bullshit and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after. Could have thrown that in the dustbin, you know, after putting it Come out. Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. Oh, he's got a red eye from, from my punch or whatever. I need to talk Holly, to Holly. You got a minute? 
Why? Please, Holly. It's important. Miss White! I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. Right. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Can you yeah. bug Wolfie, off? Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Jack. So funny. Because, you Jack. know, we were just talking about you. All of us. At the bar. Here. Not about you. Jack. I'm really not in the mood right now. Well, I was in the mood to play darts, so I guess nobody's getting what they want. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. Tweedledee was just here. He said it looked like Snow White. He's still supposed to be in custody. Crane. Sorry. Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He said you tortured him. Which... I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. Shut the Baby, fuck up. come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... Jack, find the off button, now. What good. is it with you two? Yeah, good. You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around. But as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Cat got your nerve. What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Holly. What? Bigby, look, two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister... Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Actually, have there been any updates? On my sister? I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. Sure walked into that one. If yeah. you say one more Dumbass. fucking thing, just one more thing. Exactly. Shut the fuck up. I think this dude likes my, my, my that Holly girl. Yeah, he likes God Holly. Fucking damn it! Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Oh, stop the bloody shit. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been... Shut the fuck up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry we found your sister this way, and I... I wish this had ended up better. <sighs> You should go comfort your girlfriend, you know, dumbass. Oh, let's know why do the job for you? Sure. Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. I just want- It should have been you. It should have been you and it wasn't. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. <sighs> the copper was from a dwarf mine. It's very rare. And very old. That was decent of you. Grin. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? Yeah, fuck off. Give us some space. I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. She was lost here, in the city. 
She just got swept away by it. Why were you two not talking? It seems so fucking petty now, but I just... I didn't want to watch it with her. I think she oh was God. off the Monday drugs, but she was hooking to pay down debt. It right. ate me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. Strip club? The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees. It's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. If it's too much, Georgie. we don't have to do this. Georgie? Hmm. What do you know about him? We can just go talk to him. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? <sighs> Lily. Thanks for everything, Holly. Is there, um, is there anything we can do to... No. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. It's not charity. It's looking out for our own. Is she... Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no. It's, it's a kind of... It's a formality with trolls. Holly, Lily's the best evidence we have right now. We can't surrender her body till I know it can't help the case anymore. This is really important to me. And the investigation is important to everyone. Look, why don't you come down with me to the business office and we'll see what we can do. Yeah. Fair enough. Pet club? I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. When you come back to the office, please try to make more of an effort with her. Just okay. do it for me. It makes everything easier. Okay. Got it, baby. Anything for you, my love? I swear, if my girlfriend actually dies again, I will lose my shit. Shit. Oh, look, it's Chinese food. Oh. Sheriff, she what a, a nice ribbon. surprise. A ribbon I'm not sure I've seen you here before. Just like Pete. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? I'm a friend of Georgie's. Where is he? A friend? Hm. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. I should warn you that... Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. What, is he getting a and lap he's dance? he's in kind of a mood right now. It'll be fine. I have a way with people. <laughs> so I've heard. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely getting some action over there. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie. And I'm ruining things where for Where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your desires are our desires. Your imagination is the menu. And discretion is our guarantee. Did you know Lily? She worked here. Oh. My lips are sealed. You'd better ask Georgie. Everyone's lips are sealed. Please do not copyright this music. Please. Oh my god. I sh I sh I should What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? I take it from no here. No one's gonna want that. I can take it from here. Oh my god. Good luck. I sh It's your face. You have to smile. You never smile. I should censor this. Oh, it's you. We're closed. Oh, God. 
keep dancing you. I didn't say stop. For fuck's sake. You, stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. I got a few questions. Imagine my excitement. What do you want then? You here for a little taste? No. Tell you what, come back after midnight maybe. I can hook you up. No. Or uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. Oh, shut up. You prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target or one that will put up a fight? You don't know. You don't know me. You don't I know love, me. I okay, love mysterious lone wolf. Right, I got you. Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it though. No, seriously, I love it. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Who told you? Who told you? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. Nice In that case, though. I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course she was, you daft git. She was a troll. No, I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. You know, it's illegal to impersonate another fable. It's frowned on. It's illegal as long as I don't like it. The 13th floor would never provide a glamour like that. It's strictly black market stuff. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. They never spit there. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Now it's look at him. Glamour box. Nothing to back it up? Well, what the fuck is this, then? Get that out of my face. I found it on Lily's body, and it's definitely a back alley job. Where did she get it? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? She had clients, Big B. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Oh. How anyway, dare you? Now to do with me. Okay, Go stop on, with the copyright. This makes me feel so uncomfortable. We're not, we're done, not here. done here. I think we are. I said we're not. You're gonna hit me. Go ahead. That's what you wanna do, right? Oh, One right. more time. Who hired her? Yeah. Oh no, fuck! What was that about, bro? I wasn't doing anything, so... You! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it! Bloody bastard fucking shit! You proud of yourself, mate? Proud of your little mess? Oof. Fuck's sake! Fuck off, hands. Hold on a minute. Hans, is it? Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not gonna know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my uh, eyes. He definitely knows something. Cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written in You're it? You're a fucking moron. Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication. Talk conditioner. <laughs> and I have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. My ass. Tell me about the book. <laughs> sure, oh, go ahead. Control. Do what comes naturally.
me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Hey, now! I want the book. Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. He's not. Don't even think about it. Tell me where it is. Look, Georgie. Why don't you just tell me where the book is? Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. Bullshit. That he wouldn't say something do like that. Do not touch that. You hear me? It's nothing to do with you. Hand it over while you still can. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me back. Well, well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. Uh, I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Give me the book. I heard enough people. Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We yes. get it. Everyone's guilty. I don't you care. Fucking get it. Jesus, you're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. People are dead. Two women are dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. <laughs> Come on, mate. Leave it. There's Why nothing he... there for you. Why does he look like it? Travis Barker. I cannot de you destroy that. You want to stand back. No, no, no. No. All right, all right, all right. Okay. All right, so that, that, that worked. That worked, huh? I don't think that's the key for it. Can't trust this asshole. Bloody come on, then! Quick. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. This is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. <laughs> this is your book. Your girl. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. <laughs> 